Hey guys, Brito here. Welcome back to Iron Racing. A bit more dirt action now, but here we are in the UMP Modifieds Volusia Speedway Park. So, Modifieds came out, um, well, pretty much today, I should say, um, or last night, depending where you where you are in the world. But um, these things are, I think, they're a mix between street stock and super late models, sort of in between. They are an absolute blast to drive. Um, just here, my first well, official slash unofficial um, race. So. It's an official week 13 race, but safety rating and I rating doesn't come into effect, so let's go out and have a bit of fun. So I'm going to come out and do quali. Tried to work on setup a little bit, but the baseline set here for um, fire to put into these cars is pretty good, so. We've got a couple of laps here now. Low 17 will be ideal. I've never been very good at Volusia to be honest. I'm able to get the right line and entry and exit. So. so big five, happy with that. Not too bad a time, but as you can see it's pretty slick at the moment. The track is really slick. On our second lap, 18 points. So that's a shot. On second lap. Oh well, yeah. So I'll show you guys that um that was Volusia Quali set. So let's go iron racing uh, Volusia race. It's got it's nine gallons of fuel in it. Now from my calculations, we need 11. So I'm going to put 11 in. Um, save it as Volusia race because whatever changes I've made haven't done absolutely anything. So. Um, where are we? Currently fourth, which is pretty good. So um, go back and check out these laps while we're waiting for the, the next couple of minutes. So no team paint yet. It's good to be a bit microphone so you guys can probably hear me a bit better. So yeah, no team paint yet, but um, we'll get working on it soon. Car's a blast to drive. It's a lot of fun. It's too much slide there in one and two, that's why I've slowed down a lot that second lap. Need to try and keep the car a lot straighter. A little bit better there in three and four, but then that's what slowed us down to. That little sort of slide there just coming out of four didn't help. Let's go back again, let's have a look at our dirt vision replay. Just got a little bit of time to go before we head to the race, so. I haven't um, raced at Lania yet, the new dirt track either, so that'll be something I want to try and get done today. Have a look at Lania Speedway in the modifieds or even the 410s or street socks, whatever's going, I'll have to wait and see. These things are a real blast to drive. It's right there, just as we get hit the slick with our rears, it just wants to spin us around a little bit. Let's, um, I think, practice. We'll go back and have a look at of our practice laps while we're waiting. So practice, I was ninth, quality fourth, that's pretty good. Okay, everyone's done. We're getting ready to jump into the race now. So we're going to be starting in fourth spot. So on the outside, which is where we want to be. So we've Go got Ryan Gaunt on pole, the number seven, with a 17457. Donny Ellison, the number 12, in second, with a 17517. 48 of Corey Ward, the 17.525, and that triple seven of myself, 17.590. Uh, Ryan J. Gordon, the number 88, in fifth with a 17.6. Jennifer Schumacher, number six in the 17.7. Schumacher, not Schumacher, sorry. And number 15, Matthew Stagman, 17.8 in seventh spot back there. We've got Eric Myers, Casey Witchman, Ivan P. Pingrazio, Lila Wilson, David Hillman, Cam Taylor, which is a teammate of mine, and Ricky Gibson. Not sure where the leaders has gone. He was there and now he's disappeared. So um, I'm thinking force feedback at two and a half would be a little bit uh, five, I should say, is a little bit higher. So I'll drop it down to four. 
think the leader's... No, he's actually gone back into the pits. Okay, so he might have still had his collie set up on, so... Corey Ward's going to take the pole. Uh, got these guys muted? No, they're unmuted, so... Actually, let's mute them. Let's just listen to, to the car and not worry about people surrounding each other, because no doubt they're going to get a bit aggressive. I don't know if there's cautions or not. We're going to have to wait and see. Um, and you guys, if you've watched these regularly, you know how bad I am at um, starts here at Volusia, especially uh, the late models. Usually turn in and um, hit the wall on the outside. So let's have a look. Do we have? Yeah, we've got fast repairs, so. Hopefully we can just have a decent clean race here. It's all I'm aiming for. It's all I'm hoping for. But first impression on right, these cars, they are awesome. Now. I wouldn't be surprised if Donnie's going to get black flagged here because um, Corey's so far back. Wow, breakfast. Twelve got wicked loose there on entry. They're still going. I don't know if we got any damage out of that, but we certainly took a beat. Let's see if we can um, make up some spots there. Around the outside of the two. Obviously no cautions, which is good. Oh, there's a fence there. Oh, spun around. Wow. Unbelievable. They spin and they just flick around in front of you. We're going to have to come into the pits, so... Oh, very frustrating. They're still bashing their way around here at the moment. We'll have to try and sneak into the pits here without getting in anybody's way. Some people will just um, have absolutely no idea, to be honest. Go in and... Get our fast repair. Head back out. We'll let Ryan go through. Even though he's the one that causes the bloody wreck. See if we can get a little bit of fun out of it anyway. wasn't the recording I wanted, but um, you guys can see what the cars are like anyway. Probably see what the racing is going to be like when they do go official. It's not too bad a time. A little bit too sideways there as well. Better exit though. Just like the late models, you've got to make sure you don't get that rear, right rear tag on the wall in front straight here at Volusia. Couple of cars have any issues up there, but back on track now. If we 
good to catch Ryan here and have a bit of a battle with him. We are quicker. Been on a story man, quicker than the leader, so it's very frustrating that we're we're not still up there battling away. Traps getting really slick everywhere at the moment. The high line's going to keep moving up, but um, there's not a lot of room on the outside. Ryan's trying to run low, but there's just nothing down there. Nothing at all. Tough to make a pass, or so get a good run out of here. Have. Go for a bit of a slider. Stay off that wall. Bump there with the 88, which hasn't helped us, we'll lose our spot to the 7, possibly. The gate's just getting really loose. Passed him then that time. See how much this track is changing. It's just starting to get slick absolutely everywhere. The uh, high line's getting slick. We're just going to have to start running through it, I think. How many times I've collected that in the street stop? A lot. Trying to run it down low oh, without hitting that bloody wall. Lowline might have something down there now. One and two anyway. Oh, he hates had a bit of an issue there. Definitely the low line of one or two is the way to go now. Because the slick line's up so high now, it's just um, not beneficial to be running so high. Stay low enough, that's the way to go. Might try it inside in three and four as well. Uh, 
or maybe high in three and four, but low in one or two, definitely. to go so If he got taken out, he'll be going off his nut right now. Point four, so ruts falling there in the front straight as well. to go. short on field. Last lap for us, but... Another one stopped down though, it still came. So Matthew Stagman's taking the win. Got to come home in fifth spot. So didn't end up being too bad. It's actually pretty good. We can't change the can now. Let's change it to 12 gallons. Save it. So you guys, make sure you run a 12 gallons. So I don't think you're going to make it otherwise. Let's um go back and maybe have a look at the first um first few laps until we got taken out by Ryan. Well, not taken out by Ryan, but he yeah. Came out in front of us and absolutely smashed him. So, well, let's have a look at the race start. Roll off right behind the top here and then he throws in. It gets wicked loose. And actually, I didn't even touch him, I don't think, but I got loose as well trying to avoid him. But it's an absolute wreck fest. The six and the one come together. we we'll just get past the six here. Two car just ahead. So we're starting to chase him down. But the cars, there's so much fun to drive. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. So, if you did, smash that like button as always. 
leave a comment let me know how you thought we did if you got the car what your thoughts are i think they're bloody amazing they'll be so much fun and um can't wait to get stuck into to week one now uh, if you haven't subscribed already please do so i'm gonna bring some more ump modified stuff over the next few days and um even some more stuff at lania this is where we get gaunt just come straight in front of us but anyway stupidity but it is what it is but um yeah thanks for watching guys it's been Brito's gaming see you again soon